towards us and we're heading over to Kensington High Street to look at the bike lane which has come under a bit of threat. Sad times mate, very sad times. Imagine after the year we've had, coronavirus, all this stuff, forcing people onto bikes, climate change. Imagine undoing all the good work that we've done this year. An expensive undoing as well. Yeah. Yeah, so where are we here? Uh, so this is Kensington High Street and only seven weeks ago they put in these massive wide cycle lanes on both sides of the road, segregated with these bollards and they're already been removed. Which Just crazy. Make any sense, which is gonna, the total pr process there will cost £700,000. And just because some, a couple of hundred people complained? Yeah, it was like 300 people complained. But obviously, people complaining, they always make more, if you don't like something, you're more likely to yeah. actually complain, aren't you? But more to the point, thousands and thousands of people are using the cycle path. And the traffic's moving. And, and it's rush hour. Exactly. So it's fine. But we're here to prove that they're wrong. Yeah. And to try and get some support, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have a quick chat to these guys from LCC and they'll explain a little bit more about what's happened and what we can do and you guys can do to try and help. Yeah, we're not here for the reasons we'd like to be here. This is the principal thoroughfare to get from West London into the middle. And in a, in a fit of good sense, the council applied for some of the um, TFL emergency funding for street space. So to put this lane in, to plan it, to get the consent of the road work, etc., was £300,000. And it's been in for seven weeks. And I think um, according to TFL's travel data from Will Norman, it's like 4,000 people a day are cycling safely using this lane. And regrettably, last week with like zero notice, uh, the council just said, oh yeah, uh, it's not working, is it? Um, so we're just going to immediately pull it out. And we, we dispute the authenticity of the, of the evidence used to support that decision, because, well, as you can see... <laughs> I, 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 it's flowing, I, it's good. Right? It's actually brilliant riding along. The, 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 the footage speaks for itself. Yeah. own data shows that it's also not improved, uh, not caused congestion to go up. So it's a cycle lane that's working, it's a cycle lane that's popular, and it's a cycle lane that's not even finished yet. So the fact that they're taking it out is just madness. Did you, did you, did was that man, what that man yeah. would say? The guy, the guy. <laughs> he was uh, complaining about getting run over by red light jumping cyclists. Oh, and yeah. said that we shouldn't be allowed. Had he just been run over? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think his dog had just been run over. He was very unhappy. <laughs> So we've, uh, we've got some, some campaigners over there holding out. Uh, it's a real shame that they're not letting it bed in and seeing it through to the conclusion. I think there's a couple of reasons why it's so sad. I mean, one of them is that there is a major gap in the cycle network running through Kensington, Chelsea. There's no safe east-west route at the moment. And the council's actually been involved in blocking a number of attempts to create that east-west route. It's why we were so pleased when this one finally went in and why we're so upset that they're talking about taking it back so taking it out so soon. And this is one of the most dangerous roads in London. We've given nearly uh, 150, I think it is, serious fatalities and injuries along this stretch in the last 20 years. That's a horrific stat. So um, this was going to be a really big safety improvement for cyclists and pedestrians as well along here. Thank you. Is there any hope? Do you 
you think things can be reversed? Like, yes. What can people do to, can we email him? Or yes, like, you can. What can we do? I think that, that hope is real. Um, we, we've seen the music, mood music really change. The, the mayor actually put out a statement himself yesterday saying this is like unthinkable. I think the council are like very much. They've been they've been surprised by the by the very emotive reaction this has had from around the world. We, we're having people from Texas dialing in saying that like they, that it breaks their hearts to see kids' lives put on the line. And it's what I would like you like everyone to do, please, is to use our link, tell the council that it's the wrong thing to do. It's, it's not about the cycle lane, it's about people being in danger and that's what this decision will do and there's just no reason for it. These cycle lanes and specifically in this case here in Kensington have been so integral in encouraging new cyclists to use their bike as a mode of transport. It's been absolutely great looking on Twitter over the last few weeks and seeing just how many primary school kids and just how many new people have been using that bike lane as opposed to getting in their cars. And surely in this ever evolving world, post pandemic, and with climate change such a huge issue, surely we should be doing all we can to encourage commuting by bicycle. It's a bit chilly, eh? Yeah, it's chilly. Should we go and ride? Yeah, where are we going now? The shortest route possible home and then back to bed. <laughs> we can race all these commuters back. back. Yeah. We could do a couple of laps at the park. Yeah, we could, yeah. You can do it in that coat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Style guru. Do you think it's turning left? Yeah. Hey Francis? Yeah. Is that your car? Yeah, that one. That one. What's on my car? It's a safe car. So I've just said goodbye to Francis. Really good to catch up with him. I'm gonna race back now to uh, start my edit and uh, try and get the video done before him tomorrow. But yeah, really glad I bought this big yellow jacket because it is absolutely bitter today, bitter. Big thanks to the guys from LCCU who came out to talk with us earlier to talk about the future of Kensington High Street and hopefully saving that bicycle lane. If you did want to show your support, then I've left the link in the description, so please do go and sign that and hopefully we can save that bike lane that has allowed so many new cyclists to commute but as usual guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one Ciao.